Hello, Tony Centro. So as I have been just uh, thinking through some things on my own, trying to make sense of what is going on around the world, the scripture that has really been coming to mind is 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. It says, therefore, if anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come, the old has gone, the new is here. And I'm reading from uh, the New International Version. Now, you see, as I've been thinking through this passage of scripture in the past, most of the times I used to think about it so so much around about my personal life as a child of God, you know, what happened to me when I became a Christian. But looking at the season that we are going through uh, as a world, you know, as humanity, what has been happening is that um, I have been thinking so much about this scripture in terms of the world itself, what the world is going through, where the world is headed, you know, it just could be that uh, the old has gone, the new is here, you know. And uh, the other day I was having a meeting with some of uh, the people that uh, we work with, you know, at uh, uh, Doxa Deo, and uh, we were doing a City Changer uh, leadership uh, program that uh, we are running around the world. And we had a number of people, you know, in different countries, you know, um, on the call. And one of the guys, you know, said something that really made me think about the same season that I am talking about. He said, the biggest question that we have to ask ourselves is, is what we are going through a distraction or is it a disruption? So you see, a distraction is like a detour in the road. You know when you are driving. And then there's something in the middle of the road, you know, uh, like uh, you can see a plane was trying to land and then they blocked both sides of the road. And then uh, they asked the uh, people in their cars to take just a small detour. And when you pass the accident scene, obviously everything just goes back to normal. And then everything again continues the way it was that is a detour it's a it's a small uh, distraction in the way things have been happening on the other hand a disruption is different a disruption is a sudden change in the way things were or how they were done completely changing everything so if you were headed in this direction it's it, a detour will be will leave you to head the same direction will just take you off the road for a little bit and get back on the road a disruption is a disruption to your journey you were going this way and they said no no no, no. we are going this way so a disruption is bigger than a distraction you know a detour gets you back on the old road a disruption doesn't get you back things have changed like the scripture says the old is gone the new is here now we are not in a detour we have been disrupted you know when you look at uh, what is happening in the world you know you can literally see that we have been disrupted i was talking to a friend of mine that had lo relocated to durban and they are coming back to Houten, you know, uh, to Pretoria, because he says to me that the company uh, that had taken them to uh, Durban just told everybody that they don't feel that there is any need for them to go back to the office anymore because they saw that during the time that um, they were in a lockdown, nothing stopped they continued to work and nobody was in the office so they said why do we need to continue to pay the rent uh, where we have been working from that is a very big disruption to the real estate company that owned the building that uh, these guys rented which means that they have to know that there is a new normal that has come that building may be uh, occupied by another company or they may just have to change what uh, the use of that building 
uh, used to be. So my advice, you know, to us, you know, as humans, you know, because we are so sometimes uh, attached to things the way they used to be, and the biggest, the biggest, uh, uh, the biggest uh, opposition to change is people you know just wanting things the way they used to be i've heard so many people saying man can we not just go back to the way things used to be uh, here is my advice to people like that you need to adapt to the new normal or you risk being left behind